Here we are again. So today we're going to read a story. We're going to answer questions together. And if, if you have them, scissors and glue, if you have them, and even, you know, there'll be some coloring too. So only if, if not, work with me. It's okay. Well, work with me too. Do go. You'll see. But like I said, if you have scissors and glue, get them. You will need them in the near future. First, though, the first thing you're going to do, you need your fingers so you can blend. Ready? T -r e. Tree. Good. O. Hope. L. Tell. Great job. R. Ing. Ring. Good. B. Erd. Birds. F. O. Ash. Flash. Great. Oh, uh, four phoning, you're right, four sounds. Pluck. Last one. D, R, O, P. Drop. Excellent. Good job blending words. So today, we're looking at some sentences, and all these sentences have one thing in common, and that is they are questions. All these sentences are questions. And we're going to identify the question word as we read each sentence. You ready? Okay. So my first sentence states. No, you tell me. Okay, my turn? Great. When is lunch? What is our question word in this sentence? Good job. When. And we know that this is a question not only in how we say it and our willing, our wants to answer it, but it also has a Question mark. Oh, questions and question mark. Oh. Okay, the next one. Your turn. My turn. Which cup is Tom's? What is the question word in this sentence? Which, good job. And what lets you know it's a question as well? Ending in a question mark. All questions end in question marks. Great job. Okay, number three, your turn. My turn. What gift did Chad get? And the question word this time is? What, awesome, also ending in a question mark. <laughs> Ending in a question mark. Questions ending question marks. All right, number four. Your turn. My turn. Where is Jen from? What is our question mark here? Where. Good job. Question mark. Yup. Got it. Good. All right, number five. Your turn. See how I answered the question? The question reads, why did I get a cat? Our question word again is, why, good job, and it has a question mark, questions and then question marks, good job. All right, number six, your turn. My turn. Who had the last chip? Question word is who, and I want to know too who had the last chip. Who? Who? Was it? Alright, better not be you eating the Bobby's chip now. <laughs> and it also ends in the question mark. Great job. All right, so now we're gonna read a story together in our snapshots readers. Come on. All right, so I have my reader. I'm ready. We're gonna go to the table of contents. And we're going to find the next story. All right. Well, together we read the flag shop. You did which is the best. Told you it was a question by yourself. And so now on to the next one. It's titled The Bus Stop. And it's on page number 44. Good job. Let's turn to page 44. 
our new pages. Lots of pages. Read that one. Oh, okay, here we go. We found it. Okay. Remember, I'm partner A, you're following along, and then you're partner B before you keep going. The bus stop. That led us to a bus stop. At the bus stop, there was a thrush. What's a thrush? Well, judging by the picture, and seeing as I know that's Nat and that's Beth, this little bird here must be a thrush. So a thrush must be a type of bird. All right, let's go back to the beginning of this sentence. I'm going to go back until I, oh, here we go, because there's a period, meaning skirt, stop, and then capital letter. So this must be the first word of that sentence. At the bus stop, I know, but I changed my mind. Let's go back to the beginning, beginning. Dot led us to a bus stop. At the bus stop, there was a thrush. Not Nat held up his hand. The thrush was all set to land on his hand. But then Dot said, Nat, stop that. Nat let his hand drop. At the bus stop, Nat said, Beth, this is the best bus. I said, why? Is it fast? Look at her asking questions. No, Nat said, it's not that fast. Then why is it the best? Just then Nat said, there it is. It was a big red bus with a top deck. <gasps> Notice, see how the windows are stacked? Because this is what's called a double decker bus. What? There's two layers of seats. Ooh, skirt! Well, that's another title, which means we need to pump our brakes and go back. All right, so now you be your partner B or get someone to help you be your partner B. And if there's no one available, go ahead and rewind and listen to me read it again before we go ahead and answer questions. All right, you ready now? Come on. All right, so as you remember, I said if you have them, you need scissors and glue for today. So in your cat book, you have a page that looks like this, 29.1. If you notice, it says if you notice it says continue, that's because just like when you did for Bud the Cat, 29.1 has two parts to it because this is the page that you will cut out and this is the page where you'll do your pasting. I've already turned mine. So if you have scissors and glue, go ahead and cut these out into one, two, three, four. You'll need four strips. But don't try to like just cut them out the page. Literally cut the page out and then cut out your strips. All right, go ahead and you didn't, I know you didn't do it already. So go ahead, pause me and go ahead and do that. And if you don't have scissors, don't worry about it because you can always write it in the boxes. What's gonna happen is we're gonna put the events from the story in order and then we're gonna draw some pictures, okay? All right, so go ahead and get your stuff cut out, all right? Okay, excellent. So we know we have a list of sentences from the story. The first one on the page reads, it was a big red bus with a top deck. A thrush was all set to land on Nat's hand. Nat said that this is the best bus. Nat, Dot, Beth, and Beth's mom all went to the bus stop. So my question, and just, just thinking about it, which of these things, which of it, occurred first in the story. What happened first? Mm, well, I don't remember. I don't. So where do I find the answers? In the book. I have a theory. I have one that makes sense. But I'm going to check my story. So what do you say happened first? Good job. Yes. Nat, Dot, Beth, and Beth's mom all went to the bus stop. You kind of got to go to the bus stop before anything happened at the bus stop. So if you're cutting and pasting, what you're going to do now is you're going to take your glue, you're going to put the glue down on the piece of paper, and then you will place the strip in the gluey spot. Don't glue on the strip. I'm, this is a skill that's going to be good to have. So glue on the, so the big paper, not on the little strip of paper. If you don't have 
scissors and glue, you can actually write the words in the bottom of the box. So we know that that's what happened first. So what happened next? So first, next, then last. What happened next? First, Nat, Dot, Beth, and Beth's mom all went to the bus stop. What happened next? Well, it was a big red bus with a top deck. A thrush was all set to land on Nat's hand. Or Nat said that this is the best bus. Excellent job. Yes, a thrush was all set to land on Nat's hand. Does Nat, you're going to repeat the same process. Put the glue on the big paper and then glue down the little paper. It helps, it helps, it helps, I promise. Remember, what did his mama tell him? His mama said, Nat, stop that! I promise, it's right here! She told him, she said, Nat, stop that! With an exclamation, she did not want him touching that thrush. But if you remember, the thrush was the bird. Mm -mm. Alright, so we know what happened first. We know what happened next. Then what happened in the story? Then what happened in the story? It was a big red bus with a top deck? Or Nat said that this is the best bus? Well, let's check back in the book. <laughs> oh, here it is. questions but we haven't actually seen the bus yet so the next so what so then what happened is Nat said that this is the best bus and now we yep go ahead glue on the big paper place the little strip on top all right so the last thing that happened in the story was that you only have one strip left it's only has to be the right answer it was a big red bus with a top deck all right so now we're going to drop some pictures. So these are my pictures to communicate what happened in the story. And no, I am not an artist, but my pictures make sense. We see that they're Nat, Dot, Beth, and Beth's mom. They're at what looks like they're somewhere with a bench, so four people, a bus stop. Oh look, here's the little bird his mom told him to leave alone. And now here we have Nat and Beth talking and the bus coming around the corner. And now here, Nat is happy and the bus is in full view. So these are my pictures. I'd love to see yours. You could take a you could take a picture and send those to me if you really want to. So now that we know what this looks like with our pictures, I guess you're wondering what you need to do today. Let's find out. For today, you're going to take. This. So this is page PP16. It's also in your cat book. And it has a word box. You only use each word one time. And they're all questions. All these sentences are questions. You will read the question and you'll figure out which question word best fits the question. And you're going to do so in a near pod. So here are the words down here. You pick up the word and you drag it to complete the sentence. And when you're done, you click done, submit. You turn in your work. And where is this located at? Below the video, just like every other day, it's below the video. 
But that's all we have for today. And of course, as always, if you have any questions, let me know.